Hi there, my name is Jason Perkins and I'm a Georgia Workers Compensation Attorney. Welcome to another edition of my Georgia Workers Compensation video series, where I provide you helpful information about the rules and benefits of Georgia Workers Compensation Law. Today I'm going to talk to you about MRIs and getting the Workers Compensation Insurance Company to pay for them. However, before I jump into that, be sure and be on the lookout for our next video in the Workers' Compensation video series about a Georgia State Board of Workers' Compensation form that you may receive in your case called the Form WC-1. Now, let's talk about MRIs. An MRI, or Magnetic Resonance Imaging, is a test ordered by a doctor to determine the extent of injury that you suffered as a result of your injury at work. Doctors use MRIs and they can be performed on your back, your neck, your shoulder, your knee, or other parts of your body. They use them to determine how badly you've been injured. Um, MRIs on your back or your neck are often helpful in determining do for doctors whether you've suffered an injury to a disc in your back or neck. MRIs on your shoulder are helpful in diagnosing torn rotator cuffs or other torn ligaments. And MRIs on your knee can be helpful in diagnosing whether you have a torn anterior cruciate ligament or a meniscus tear. Um, now, doctors will order the MRI to determine, again, the extent of your injury. When the MRI is ordered, a lot of times you may just receive a call a few days later that's been scheduled. There's no problems. However, sometimes in Georgia workers' compensation cases, the insurance company won't approve the MRI, so it won't get scheduled. And you may not know anything about this. You may have just seen the doctor and the M doctor said you need an MRI and a week or two later that MRI still has not been scheduled. Well if that happens you may need to look into things a little bit because the place that performs the MRI is generally not going to schedule it until they have approval from the insurance company. Many times they contact the insurance company and try to get approval and either they don't get an answer or they get told by the insurance adjuster that they need to think about it or that the insurance adjuster needs to send it out for peer or utilization review. Now, this can delay your testing, delay the diagnosis of your injury, which delays your treatment and your recovery getting back to work. Now, you would like to get the treatment you need as quickly as possible so that you can get out of pain and move on with your life. Um, so you may have to do some things and step in to try to get the MRI approved. You may need to contact the doctor's office or the facility where the MRI is going to be performed to find out what's happened as far as getting approval. If the MRI is not being approved or the adjuster is delaying things, then you may need to contact the adjuster directly. If you have an attorney representing you in your case, then that attorney should take care of that for you. But you may need to let your attorney know that the MRI has been ordered and hasn't been scheduled yet so that your attorney can get to work on that. Um, if you don't have an attorney and you try to contact the adjuster and can't get things moving forward, then you may need to take other steps, such as filing a motion or requesting a hearing to get the MRI performed. Now, if you're going to go to those steps, I would certainly recommend that you contact an attorney because there's some special rules that apply under workers' compensation law. An attorney could be helpful to you with those. I um, hope you found this information helpful today. If you have, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or liking it. If you'd like more information, I'd suggest that you visit our Perkins Stutter Workers' Compensation YouTube channel. All the videos from my Georgia Workers' Compensation video series are there. There's currently about 70 of them available to you. I um, hope you find them helpful. If you've got some specific questions of your, about your case and would just like to discuss them, I'd be happy to schedule a free consultation with you about your case. You can set that up either by calling me at the phone number on the bottom of the screen or by reaching out to me through our website, www.perkinslawtalk.com. Thanks for watching today, and I wish you the best of luck as you recover from your injury.